Hey guys, what's up? It is Leah Kilo Delta 9 Lima Foxtrot Zulu from the YouTube channel Astro Leah. I am back at it again with another awesome video. This one is going to be about how to put on Anderson Power Pole connectors. This is something I had to do recently in order to be able to use my Zygu G90 that Uncle Mike gave us in his paying it forward. Um, live stream that he did. I'm so grateful for that. Um, I can't wait to have my own POTA set up. And this is one of the things I had to be able to do in order to get that POTA set up working. I charged my bio on a battery and I needed to be able to use the battery with the G90. The G90 power supply comes with two open ends. And what better to do with those than to power pole them to go directly into power poles on the bio NO. So I learned how to do that. First, I was like, yeah, this is probably going to be a little difficult. Obviously, I didn't want to screw it up. But in the end, when I figured out how to do it, I was like, oh, th this is easy. This is no problem. So I was like, at that point, though, I had not filmed it. I was like, ooh, kind of wanted to kind of wish I filmed it because obviously I want to share it with you guys how simple how easy it is any new hams who are learning how to do power pole connectors they're really helpful for having everything in your shack have a matching power pole having everything be able to go and work together as one coordinated system I know everything in our shack has power poles from the power supply obviously to the IC7300 to the random radios we have lying everywhere. Everything is power pulled. And so it's a really great thing to learn how to do. But then I was like, wait, I can't videotape something I've already finished doing. And obviously I'd run out of things to power pull. So we have a special guest staying with us right now though. Um, Matt Alpha Echo 4, Mike Quebec, as he likes to say. And so he was like, hey, so you do the power poles, you did them really nicely. I have a power supply for one of my radios that needs new power poles because the ones I did aren't working quite as well. So he was like, hey, power pull this for me, please. And I was like, awesome, now I can film it. So I got that all filmed and it was super quick, super simple. It's like three or four steps maybe. And if you're a ham, usually you already have all the equipment for it. If not, I mean, it's pretty simple equipment to find, I think. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. First thing you need to do, as always, is to gather your tools. I have a little screwdriver here, a set of pliers, some wire cutters. Of course, I have the two inserts and the two power pole outside pieces, as well as a handy dandy little jacket and my crimping tool. This is what I am going to be transforming. It's a little long and uh, these are Matt's power poles. He doesn't like them as much as he likes mine. So I am going to be converting them for him. This is obviously his radio power supply and he wants some power poles for it. So. He said to cut it about halfway through, and we can take that and get rid of it. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention was that you are going to need some wire strippers. So first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to strip back a little bit of this wire. That works. That works. Uh, a little bit more. Okay. So, if I can decide on how <laughs> how far I want to strip that, that looks that looks dandy. Probably more than enough. So. Then you're going to take your two ends, you obviously have black and you have red, we're going to save those for later. First you need these little silver clips, I'm going to do black first, so I'm just going to put it in there, 
and then I am going to crimp it down. These are weird, so you've got to push in to release it. I'm gonna, if this wire wants to behave itself, and just put this right on through. Like I said, if this wire wants to behave itself. It's like there's a little bed in there and you just lay the power pole on top of it. And then you actually just push down. And what that does is it folds that in and forms a nice mechanical connection there. So we got one silver end on and time for the second. At this point you are pretty much halfway done, which is crazy. At first I was like, oh, power poles, that's going to be so difficult. But no, it's really not. So you put it in. That's a little long. <laughs> Again, lay it down on that bed in there. Crimp it to form that nice mechanical connection. And there you go, both of those are ready for the next step. First, we are going to take that wire and you're gonna take it all the way back to this little clip here. So any of this extra wire can be trimmed right about to there. Oh, I'm breaking things. And then we're going to trim the second one back. Make sure you have your soldering iron over there all turned on. I think my sister's laughing at me. Haha, ha, if only she was as good as I am. <laughs> if only she could do power poles. Ooh, before you forget. You're going to want to put this on, and I already forgot because it's easiest to put on before you do any of this. But if need be, you can put it on after. Do not worry. So this is just going to cover these two up to make it all nice and purdy looking. I'm going to help a hand over here, which is going to help me when I'm soldering. You don't need a ton of solder, just enough to... Get that electrical connection as well as that uh, mechanical connection. What I do is I just heat up the ends of the wires until the solder starts flowing. One of them is done. Time for the next one. Same deal. You're going to heat up the ends of the wire until the solder melts. And there you go, plenty enough to establish a good electrical connection. I'm dropping things, do not worry. Get that out of the way. There you go. Soldering is done, so you can turn off the soldering iron. Let that Cool down. Now comes the last and possibly the hardest part, which is getting them in the power poles. Which may not sound like it's the most difficult part, but it can be a little difficult sometimes. 
So first you're gonna slide the two connectors together. Sometimes they like each other, sometimes they don't. And it's always a good idea to have spares. Those two work. So they're gonna click together so that they're the same height. Do, 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 do. You just slide them together. There's a groove on one side. There's a little bumpy outy thingy on the other. And just slide them together. Easy as pie. Now comes the fun part. They do only correctly go in one way. It's helpful if you have an example to look at and you'll be able to feel them click when they go in correctly so I'm gonna put it little bump out that way and that's that way it's really I'm really good at explaining it basically I'm putting it so that the hook is towards this bit And now here's the fun part. You can use a skinny screwdriver, you can use anything. Press down on the metal. Did you hear that? That was that click we were waiting for. So that's one of them in. And I'm gonna put the hook to the thick side for the red, and I'm gonna do it as well. Make sure you have red to red, black to black. You're kidding me. That one was so easy. I got it just like that. Okay. And then just slide the cover over top. And ta-da! Now Matt has a beautiful handily made uh, radio to power pole connector. Obviously, especially if this is your dad's workstation, make sure you put everything away, clean everything up. But that is putting powers on, power poles on complete, super fast, super easy.